Hello. Um, I actually prefer these kind of documents. Uh, Ms. Langell provided some training to the map department on, um, actually not the 15th one, I think it was whatever. I lost count. I think the 13th. Anyway, I thought it was really simple. She made it really simple. She had basically this document here, which I actually prefer something like this. But I, I know some people prefer video, and I also just wanted to make sure this all worked the way it's supposed to. So I'm going to go through it. I think it'll take me three or four minutes, and then you can uh, peruse it either real time or uh, video time, or you can just read through the instructions. But I think the instructions are really fantastic. Um, so ideally, we'd like to have all our kids have links to tutorials in their calendar. And for them to get those, uh, it's helpful if we make them and then kind of send them to the kids. There's a lot of different methods to do this. I think this is the best one. Uh, okay, so you're gonna go to your calendar and you're gonna create a new event. And I'm actually, I've already done it for, I'm gonna jump to next week. Uh, okay, next week. So I've already actually got mine set up, I think. Yes, I do. They're all there. That's what it should look like when it's all done. I actually have multiple ones because I invited my first quarter kids, which is not required. Uh, just to do it kind of in a clean space, I'm going to pretend, let's, let's say I've got a 5 p.m. tutorial. Okay. So I'm going to click there. And I can say my special tutorial. And um, I'm going to click on the date. And one of the options here is does not repeat. And I can make it repeat weekly on Monday, but I want it to repeat twice a week. So I'm going to say custom. And I'm going to say Mondays and Thursdays, because that's when tutorial is. And I'm going to have it end on December the 18th, I think, is our last day for the quarter. Okay? So it would keep going on forever. It's fine. But just end it. Uh, I would not use the video conferencing thing. I would go find. Uh, your Zoom link or your Meet link or whatever it is, and say Zoom link and put it in there, blah, 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 whatever it happens to be. And then I put your, the other thing that they, it's like, it's nice for them to have is the attendance link. And Ms. Langell, so let me go back to my instructions. She has a link directly here. Oh, attendance links. How nice. I'll go right there. It's going to take me to the attendance links. And I'm near the bottom of the page, I think. Uh, quick trip, quick, uh, uh, control F, find Taylor. I got to spell my name right. You don't have to do it twice. The list is not that long. Um, okay, anyway, control F, that'll find it for you. Um, but you can just sort down. But you may have learned a new trick. And yeah, no, I can't get rid of that. All right, so there is Taylor. All I need is that. All that other stuff is meaningless. And I'm going to go back to my writing this thing, I put my attendance link in there, any other information I want to put in there, but I'm meaning this to be very, very generic because I'm going to use it for all my classes. Uh, I think that's everything I need. I hit save. Okay, so I got my special tutorial set up. That's just my calendar. Now I want my kids to get it. And so once again, there's multiple ways to do this. I think the way that Ms. Langell taught us is really good. It basically attaches it to each of the Google Classrooms. And that will most likely get it to all your kids. There's one special twist at the end, which I'll remind people of, which a lot of me nor many of my kids know today. Um, okay, so you, you click on it again. It comes up like this. See the three little dots? I click on the three little dots and it's got, oh, I don't want to duplicate, I want to copy. Now these, I, I need to get rid of some of these. These are all really old Google Classroom. So my most recent ones are way down here. So maybe I want to give this to all of my eighth period. Going to erase it as soon as I'm done because it's going to get very confusing. In fact, let me do it with my stats kids. They'll be less confused. Uh, I'm going to copy it to this one and I'll put it in there. And uh, do I need to do anything? I don't think I need to do anything. I think I just hit save. And that duplicates it there and there and weeks on end. And now, when my whoever I gave that to it says down there, oh, I gave it to my third period statistics class. It's nice. You're not sure whose link it is. It's down there. They should all see that. And then I would do it again for all of my other classes, anybody else I wanted to invite to tutorial, which is probably definitely your, uh, your two, six, or eight, whatever you have. I invited my one, three, and my odd numbers, one, three, five, seven, but you don't have to. That's up to you. Um, but now they would all see that. Once again, this is not the right time. It should be up here where I actually have already done this. 
but uh, so I could I do it again for however many classes I wanted to do. And once again, click on the three dots, go down, copy, find the Google Classroom that I want to copy it to, and let's just do it for one more, which really confused all my stuff. Uh, fifth period. Okay, and once I don't have to do anything. Okay, if I wanted to add fifth period or something, you can do it. Just mistake. I'm good. Because once again, what I've noticed is when I click on it, it actually tells me what calendar it's in. Okay, I think that's everything that's in the instructions. Let me go back to the instructions again. These are such wonderful instructions. Um, there's the copy too. All of the instructions are here. And okay, so the students have access to these calendars. It's possible the calendars are turned off for whatever reason, okay? And what I think has, ha uh, the, the way to turn it back on, I think either of these methods of will work. First of all, both you and your kids should probably know that you probably have a ton of calendars attached and they can be turned on or off. So let's actually go to fifth period here. Um, I'm going to, uh, where are they? I could actually turn that on or off and you'll notice it's disappearing and reappearing. So if you want to clean up your calendars, you can turn things off or on, but it's possible some of the kids have that turned off. It's also possible it's not in the list yet. I'm not quite sure why this is, but the other thing people might have to do is they may need to go to this. I'm a student in the advisory teacher resources class. So instead of being on stream, they go to classwork. So this is a student now. They have to do this. You can't do this for them. They go to Google Calendar. They click on that. And I think that automatically either activates it or it rechecks that box. It does something. It makes things magically appear. Okay. So that totally fixes it. Uh, just because I'm here and I don't want to really confuse my other students, I'm going to show you how to delete those just in case you make a mistake. Uh, so once again, I'm going to delete this. Uh, it's going to tell me for this or future events, and I want it to because this was a, I, this was just a sample. So I'm going to delete this. You know, I actually I could say all of all events. Um, I don't really know what the difference between these two are. Notice they disappeared, not on their calendar anymore. Going to do it for the other one as well. It was a mistake. You can probably turn the video off at this point. Uh, and then this is this is junk too. I'm going to get rid of that as well. Uh, all right. So I let me go check our directions one more time and make sure. Oh, uh, there is one more thing down at the bottom. You may want to do this for just your synchronous classes, so that the kids have an easy place to find their second, sixth, and eighth period on the right times. You'll have to do one for Monday and Thursday classes, one set for Tuesday, Friday, and then one set for Wednesday. Uh, if you don't want to do that, don't do it. Uh, but I, I am becoming a calendar convert. Um, I was kick, came kicking and screaming, but it's keeping me more organized. Uh, it helps my kids to be organized. And the other thing I notice about it is I get little dings on my phone because I've got a Gmail phone and I get a little pop-ups on my screen because it's 10 minutes beforehand it tells me you've got a meeting in 10 minutes. So that's nice. Uh, and there's some other things in here about how you might want to delete Thanksgiving week and stuff like that. All right. Thanks for listening to my ramblings. I think that's plenty. And uh, thanks for watching. And how do I stop recording? Uh, this was all done through Zoom. If you want to know how I did this, it was super easy. Opened up the Zoom room and just started recording.